Hello friends, this is Ots, and today I present to you the Ghostface Brute Force build. This is a combination of perks and add-ons that makes playing this killer extremely simple. So easy that a caveman could do it. Uh, let me explain. So essentially, we have the Olsen wallet, which will make us have our power back every time we break a pallet or a wall. And we will be doing this constantly. If we don't stalk people perfectly, it doesn't matter. We just keep chasing them. We'll break pallets and walls and keep stalking them until they're 99 or fully stalked and we down them. It will take shorter to do this because we also have the Philly add-on that makes stalking a little bit faster overall. We will be breaking walls and pallets faster with Brutal Strength, which will also apply to gens. Every time we kick a gen, we will apply Eruption. Very strong perk that just makes gens go back and makes survivors useless. You'll know about it. And also have nowhere to hide trigger, which will show us the auras of people around us so that we can get on to the next chase, which is really, really handy. These auras also will last longer because of the secondary effect of Lethal Pursuer. And Lethal Pursuer will also help us understand where to go at the start. That's it. That's the build. You follow people, you chase people, you break pallets. If you see a gen, you kick it, get back to people. That is it. It's so, so simple. If you don't like eruption because it's unfair or it gets nerfed, Calobrine or... Oppression or other perks are completely fine. And if you don't have all of these fancy licensed perks, that's fine. You could have a build like this that is relatively similar and only uses non-licensed, easily available perks. So, now that you know how it works in theory, let's just test it out in practice. Shelter Woods. Wow. Well, that's probably a simple map for a simple build. Yeah, this is kind of perfect. Not a ton of windows in this map. It's typically down to, like, a few pallets, and sometimes it really eats just a few. I do think this girl sent me, though. Wait, no, she hasn't. In that case, maybe we try to do this. Well, that is just... Wait, they have two balloons? <laughs> it's like she still made it. Alright, that's fair. Sure thing. Uh, hooking in the open... I mean, it's a double-edged thing. You can be revealed, but... Hey, hello. I might just do... Because they don't have a lot of medkits, these fellas, I might just do an M1 and just move on. Yeah, see if they took over this chance that we saw them spawn nearby. Hello. Sure. What do we think about this? Nice, good enough. Oh, the person went far away. Very far away. Wow, well, that's easy to remember. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cancel my own power so that they cannot reveal me. And I'll just get my own power with something. Is that self-care on you? That must be self-care on you. Um, Do I really care, though? No, let them heal. These two guys are vulnerable. Yeah, let them get back to that gen and everything. If they heal each other, even better. As long as I can... Hold up. Well, 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 this would be really bad normally, see? But... Oh. I think she's happy to just give me that. Alright, fair enough. We'll take it then. It would have been nice if we dropped it. That way we could have just gotten our power back immediately. This must be Jill, by the way. <laughs> no, my nemesis. <laughs> my worst enemy. Uh, now I don't even see where she went, but I mean, we can kind of tell. It's just that she's not our favorite target right now, if that makes any sense. I think it makes more sense to go for one of the aces. Please don't call me out. Oh. Um. Spine chill users. Kappa. Okay. I think I make it. He'll just dead hard this. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> That's quite a lot of stuff going on. Ouch, sorry. Um, basement's an option. I think I'll just do the simpler one. Get back to the gent. Oh, what do you know? Our curiosity has been rewarded. Coming here had a, an upside. We found the other totem. Cool! Cool, cool. We've destroyed three totems. Well, no, actually two and a half. <laughs> and two survivors. The totems are as much my enemy as survivors are. I don't recommend you try to win stair battles with Ghostface. But this will be the one time where I indulge. Because I'm out. Hiya! Wait. <laughs> What's going on? 
You don't make that later, do ya? You have that heart too. Oh! I was so expecting it! So, so expecting it! Oh, but she didn't vault it. Do you think she has it? That would be crazy if she did, right? Alright, look, we're gonna do a little trick. A little trick called I suck at this. Alright, good enough. Right, right. Now, just because we get our power back, it doesn't mean we have to trigger it right away. So, I, I get it back, but I'm not gonna trigger it right away. Maybe they operate under the knowledge... Wait a minute. Yeah, maybe they think that I don't have my power available. Oi! I had to do it twice, it turns out. Vault back. Nice. Wait a minute. I... Oh, I... Dude, that's so unlucky. That's so unlucky. We marked someone in the distance. But to be fair, that's 60 seconds where they're not gonna be in our nose, I guess. Another boom. Alright, cool. Sure, why not? I mean, to be fair, they've done one gen. Like, it's not like they... It's not like the boons have come for free. Like, they have had to waste a lot of time. I'm being stared at from so many different directions. It's barely even funny. Damn, dude. Maybe he has resilience or something. And he thought he was safe there. That's unlucky. Yeah. I uh. Heavy ace. Okay. Took a little extra second to pick him up. We can go kick that for the eruption and the stuff. Why not? Uh, now we have a full reset. If they heal, and I'm sure they will, we are in a position where uh, no one is vulnerable. No one's even stalked a little. Wait a minute. Did I just see someone there? Like... Can I use my power? I sure did. Uh, this, ah, these trees are stupid. But uh, don't worry, that Jill's not the one that came off the hook, so she's not being tunneled or anything. She's the one that we failed to hook. Yeah, they put these trees... Like, Macmillan never used to have this many trees, but they added a bunch of extra trees when Ghostface came out so that he could lean and hide around them better. But most of them are so tiny that he can't even lean around them properly. Like, you don't even get the prompt. Or maybe he goes away too quickly. One thing that's also really sad about Ghostface, if you didn't used to play him, is that Ghostface leaning is... Uh, it's it's uh, server-sided. Oh, wow. He just put himself in a really bad spot. He's dead. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Where did he go, buddy? Uh, I'm gonna let him be, because we're at four gens, and this feels kind of scum. We're at four gens and a half. Feels kind of scummy. Um, but he did make a mistake. Maybe he's got decisive. Maybe he's got decisive. I should. I could honestly trust him a bit more. But it's all right. We catch him later. Uh, but yeah, a ghost face. When you lean like this, the server has to decide whether or not you're in a position where leaning is allowed. So because it's server sided, that means that sometimes it's delayed and and wrong and very annoying. Uh, that didn't work out. Sure thing. They must. They must love eruption, dude. They must absolutely love this perk right now. Um, but in the past, before dedicated servers were a thing, you run out of charges. You, it, you could lean very reliably because it was. It was uh, client sided. So your video game itself decided where you could lean. So you could do this, and there was like no tiny delay, no little cancelling, no nothing. Nice play though, that was smart. Do you have that heart? You did. I'm I'm happy to give it to you. Oh not bad. Good job. Let's see if turning my power back on super quickly. Throws her off. No red stain, no red stain. Boop. Hello. Alright, this game's gonna slip through our fingers though if we don't kill soon. So they gotta go. Oh, that hurts. Sorry about that. But you see, this build is very simple. Like, we never really have to worry too much about stuff. We go see people. Th there's almost always something to do, right? You never feel like, oh, you need to wait for this perk too much. Either you kick a pilot, either you kick a gen, either you chase a survivor, mark them, injure them if it's free. You're always doing something, and that something leads to something else, which feels pretty good. 
What was that? Oh. Oh, someone else revealed me? Oh, uh, okay, cool. I would drop that. You are crazy. You are crazy. You must have the biggest dead heart. Wow. All right, no, never mind. He has hope. Of two gens. Handy. Don't do that, dude. Do not do. Do not run in circles. Like the. Uh, I think the other survivors had a better idea. You can try to reveal ghost face from like behind a log, like this girl did, like that, right? That was much smarter. Ugh. That was much smarter than just going in circles. You go in circles, you give me a free 99 on you, which makes your boon, your medkits, you know, your self-care useless. Well, yeah, I can't believe I called out self-care earlier when it was obviously the boon area. <laughs> now in retrospect, that was silly. No one runs self-care anymore. And it used to be the number one perk. Yeah. The way things change, huh? All right, I think it is your time to die this time. It would be a normal hit, though. Okay. Uh, how confident am I playing Shaq, though? Wow, that guy just had the best guess of his life. I don't think this will work on him, will it? No, likely not. Yeah, he just, he just knows, he just knows. Wait a minute. I'm gonna try. Hold up. Maybe he doesn't see me. I can I can hear him pant. He just waits at the right places. All right, now you gotta give it to me. That's it. That that's that's all we were hoping to do. Just get rid of that. Uh, this pallet he dropped and we broke. I remember. Oh, uh, we could have we could have done better. We could have done better. We could have avoided that window. To be fair. All right. Well, looks like we're gonna have to leave him. Hello. That feels pretty bad, doesn't it? Must feel pretty bad, yeah. Oh, let's kick this to make sure no one's here for the pilot save. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Stop! Right? Yeah. Let's go check that gen out. Oh, hi. Dude, this guy's clean. What? That was so good. That was so good. I got him though. Now let's see your dead heart. Ah, screw it, dude. I don't have time. <laughs> let's just kill you. Mm, no, not so simple. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was a plan. It was a plan, to be fair. But, yep. Bye bye, GG's. Uh, let's see what they brought. Makes me think they're not a survivor fans because. Are you kidding me? What? What? <laughs> uh, rip. Rest in peace, balance landing <laughs> on the one map that has absolutely nothing, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so it was the two girls that had boons. <laughs> That's so silly. And the one person that has hope dies before the end game. Everyone else lived to the end game. <laughs> they only had dead heart. Oh wait, there is an archive. Ah, uh, yeah. Every time you see a survivor or a killer do something really stupid, ask yourself, is there an archive about this? And yeah, there is an archive to only run dead heart. And I don't remember exactly what you have to do in it. So maybe it's the archive. Either way, uh, fun games. And try out this build. Um, Olsen's wallet is really, really handy. There's a lot of maps that are very uncomfortable for for mm, beginner to intermediate ghost faces that have a lot of pallets, and this would be a lifesaver. The other perks help a lot. Uh, nowhere to hide, eruption, oh, everything does its thing. Brutal strength, just there to make you feel good more than anything else. But still, it's pretty comfy. Hope you'll give it a shot.